Hey guys, this is Ryan Blair here at Halo Inc. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a laser engraved file um, for these tumblers here. Uh, so you're gonna create yourself a new document and the first thing you're gonna wanna check is your color mode and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're on RGB. After that, you're gonna do a Shift O and we're going to set up our artboard. Um, so this is basically how it's going to sit in the uh, laser engraver. And so when we put this on the rotary machine, this left edge is gonna be butt up against it. Um, so that is what we're going to be measuring off of. Uh, so you're gonna want a soft tape measure. And we're going to measure from the bottom of the cup. And I'm just gonna measure up to this steel looking section here uh, because one, our logo isn't going to be centered on that, and two, we won't be engraving up there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set our width first, and that's this measurement here. So we're going to call it 6.1875. Sorry, it's hard to uh, film and type at the same time. And what we're going to want to get next is the uh, circumference here. So wrap around up here where the logo is going to be going and we've got 11 inches so that's what we're going to set our height to okay um, next what we're going to want to do is so when we center the logo on here the logo is going to probably be slightly above center and when i say center i'm talking in between this space here we don't really necessarily need to accommodate for that well we do but um, that's not what we're going to base our placement off of. Um, so we're going to measure that and figure where that's at. And that's at about um, 1.75. So what we'll do is come over here and we will pull a guide out to 1.75. And now this is going to be the area that we're going to center on. So we're going to go ahead and drop a guide in on that top section. So basically that guide would be sitting right here on the cup. Um, if we were doing a logo on two sides, what you would want to do is you're going to want to put in a horizontal guide as well. Um, this is only going to be a one-sided logo, so we don't need to, but I'm going to teach you either way. That way it's both, it's on the video. So we can go ahead and delete that. Next, what you're going to want is your artwork. And your artwork uh, is going to be best as single color. Uh, if you wanted like uh, some kind of different texture to it, you could do two color and you can engrave um, one color at a certain depth and another at a, a different depth. But in most cases, it's just going to be a single color. You're not trying to achieve like a half tone or anything like that or like, uh, like a textured kind of look. So next we need to figure out how big to put this logo. So I'm gonna say that about three inches looks pretty decent. So what we're gonna do is set our width to three proportionately, and then we're gonna kick it onto its side because we're looking at the cup like this. Um, so now what we're gonna wanna do is align it to the top. And if we were to center it, it would, as I said, it would be centered on this area, which Actually, I think it looks pretty good. Most times you're going to want it a little bit higher, but it might be all right. But I don't know, just for good measure, we'll, we'll kick it up just a little bit, slightly off centered. And the reason why we put it justified to the top is because that's telling the laser where we want to start. If we had it down here in the middle, there's going to be some extra math that has to be done in order to figure out where to properly start this on this cup really doesn't matter there's no markings on it but we do some cups that have handles and we do other cups that have you know maybe a logo on one side um, so the standard is to go ahead and just put it up top here if this was a um, gonna get a logo on two sides of the cup all you would do is once it's sized and placed you would just take that one hold alt click shift and drag out a second one and that's going to put one on each side of the cup Again, we don't need that, um, so that's okay. Next, what we're gonna do is, um, I like to copy out the artboard here, and we're gonna set up a proof. So I've already grabbed the uh, cup, 
that we're using. And now basically we just drop it on and this is gonna be kind of approximate. Um, so that was our measurement was from the bottom of the cup to the steel section. So we just bring it over here to the second artboard, kick it over, oops, center it so it looks all right. And now we've already got this artwork that's already sized up. So we'll just go ahead and drop it down. And we're gonna go ahead and place it. And there's probably a better way to do that where it kept the same placement, but I accidentally moved it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and measure down just to make sure it's going to be correctly placed. So, um, also what I know about this cup is that it's going to engrave to silver. So for proving purposes, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit it with a uh, silver gradient here, turn it to 90 degrees, and uh, make it so it's not just black and gray. And I think that looks pretty good. It's gonna be fairly accurate as uh, the representation on the cup. So now all you're gonna to need to do is save it and send out the proof. And that's how we set up a uh, file for uh, laser engraving. And then all you'll need to do for the production file is just give them this first artboard here. This, this one on the right is strictly for proofing. Thanks for watching.